empty hearts and neon lights The playing with my mind Gotta get out of here tonight Oh, I wanna run off I am fly And I'll tell myself it's fine to be alone Just to find somewhere that finally feels like home Oh, oh, oh I hate all this overthinking Oh, 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 oh The more I swim, the more I'm sinking What's up guys? Welcome back to our channel. I hope everyone's doing really really well. So I have to admit that it's been super difficult to film content for this channel especially since my gym is always super super packed and Bella and I are only together on the weekends now so we have to find time to squeeze in a filming session on the weekends. So today the gym was pretty empty so I thought it would be perfect to film and I know it looks like we do a lot of legs and glutes on this channel, but it just so happens that whenever it's time to film, we're just doing glutes and legs. We like to do upper body as well, but we just thought that we would film today's workout. So we are starting off with some glute, glute activation exercises. So we like to do clams, um, one with your hips on the floor and then one with the hips raised. And she also did a side-to-side -side squat. I don't know what that's called specifically, but she did that before as well. And um, I know the clams don't look that difficult, but they really, really are. And they get the glutes fired up before the initial exercise. So we definitely did stretch before jumping right into this. And we also did... 10 minutes on the Stairmaster just to get the blood really flowing and for the clams I like to make sure that my whole body is on its side. I like to keep my opposite arm on the floor and I like to keep my ankles together and then for this one I like to just really focus on those glutes mind to muscle connection and it's definitely one of the keys to building your glutes is that mind to muscle connection and I feel like activation exercises before really really help with that as well so jumping right into it we like to do the seated hip uh, abductions and just really focusing on taking those knees out really focuses on that outer glute and then this is gonna be a superset so Right after that, we jump right into a single leg deadlift. And we like to add the resistance band for some extra tension. And this is really going to target those hamstrings and those glutes. And then we raised the weight to 30 pound dumbbell. But definitely do whatever weight is comfortable for you. It took us a while to kind of build the weight on that because it is quite difficult. And then jumping right into the hip thrust machine. I absolutely love this machine. If you have one of these at your gym, highly recommend. There's quite a few different ways of doing this exercise, but you just want to keep your chin tucked in and really squeeze your glutes at the top. And this exercise will give you the biggest glute pump of your life. It's like the number one way to build your glutes. So we like to slowly raise the weight. I start with 25 Second set, I do 35, and then third set, I do 45. And I see a lot of people just jump on this machine and try to go heavy right away. And even for me, that's really difficult to do. So I would definitely recommend easing your way into each exercise, slowly building the weight. So now we're doing some reverse deadlifts with this bar. And we're once again going to slowly, slowly start to build the weight. So first just going with the bar and just really focusing on those hamstrings and squeezing the glutes at the top. And then we just raise the weight to 10 pounds on each side and then eventually 25 pounds on each side. And then we brought the weight back down to finish it.
So this exercise right here always gets me super, super sore. It's a leg press, but it's single leg press and you're kind of on your side and this really, really targets that glute and also that it kind of hits quads as well but this exercise is super super difficult so I would recommend going super light at first and just kind of really getting that range of motion down as you can see she's she's going off of her heel and just really pushing through that heel to target the glutes even more So next we are doing some reverse deadlifts once again, this time banded on the cable machine. And honestly, I would recommend going super light on this. Figure out what weight works best for you because if you go too heavy, you might fall forward. You have to really focus on sitting on your heels and just really squeezing those glutes at the top. But nonetheless, it's really an easy way to get this exercise in if the gym is super super packed and all of the dumbbells or the dumbbell area is like really really busy this is just a really quick way to get your deadlifts in so just really leaning back into it and pushing out those hips and then we are super setting that with these banded kickbacks and this is just a really another good way to get those glutes fired up and you just really want to focus on that glute when, and squeeze at the top. Try to go as slow as possible. And we do about 15 per leg. Oh yeah, me and her have never done these together. Next up, we are doing curtsy lunges with a 30 pound bar and for these, we like to keep as low as possible just to really keep tension on that leg and this exercise really gets the glutes fired up and I've definitely been adding this into my workout routine. I've been doing these pretty consistently so we go up to about 50 pounds for this and I'm going to show you guys a couple different variations of lunges that we like to do. I think that lunges are like key to having really really nice toned legs and glutes so I'm going to show you guys in the next couple clips. So here's another variation this time we're stepping on a 25 pound plate and this kind of raises that leg and allows you to go even lower into it so and this time we raised the weight as well so super super difficult to do and then also you can add it underneath of your leg like this and yeah it just really really targets the glue and you really feel it when you do it this way as well so just a couple different ways to do it and then jumping right into deadlifts once again we are using 35 pound dumbbells, just really leaning back into it, pushing your hips out and then squeezing at the top. And then this is what we did to finish our workout. We just did step ups with 15 pounds on each side, 10 per leg. And I promise you, this is probably the best way to get your conditioning up. It really makes you sweat and it's super hard. And if you're trying to lean out and tone at the same time, this is definitely key whenever I feel like I want to lean out a little bit I definitely add these to the end of my leg days and I literally feel dead at the end of it but yeah this is the finished workout I hope that you guys enjoyed don't forget to share this video subscribe and I will see you guys in the next one bye